Hi, this is Michelle Avi Bourgeois. I'm sitting with Owen Coleman, who is the creative visionaire of Cali Blanca Villa in St. Lucia. And we're here today so that Owen can tell us the vision that he had of creating this villa 30 years ago. Owen? Thank you, Michelle. It was uh, an exciting venture as a young man, and I never expected to own a villa. When I was 15 years old, a high school student, I found a book in the library about the Caribbean and saw a photograph of a small, single-engine plane sitting on a volcanic beach in St. Lucia. I dreamed of going there one day to see the lush green islands. That dream came true many years later when my wife, Alan, and I decided to take that special vacation for my 50th birthday to St. Lucia. During our holiday, our driver said we ought to see the Ridout House, which was a two-bedroom villa on the edge of a cliff that was for sale. We couldn't believe our eyes and immediately fell in love with the oh my God views from this small villa. My buddy, Raymond Gomez, a terrific architect, and I were in love with the property. It took six years to purchase the overgrown plot of land next door, and by some miracle in Santa Fe, I met Iris Surrett, and he started importing antique doors from Afghanistan and Pakistan, Indian palace doors, and more in the way of sculpture and carved posts building an amazing collection of this type of art. Ira helped me to find the source in India to produce metal tiles that were custom designed by us for the ceilings in our temple suite. In the early stage of the project, we decided that instead of making a traditional home, we would build separate villas. Two of the original suites were kept from the original two-bedroom house that the Ridouts had. Since there is such an open space, we designed a treetop pavilion in a 36 foot by 36 foot octagon. Across from that is the pool suite, which directly faces the 65 foot infinity pool. And when you open the handmade large shutter doors, there is a magnificent view of the pool and pitons. In your lifetime, you must go and see the pitons. It's like looking at the finger of God. I mean, it's just amazing. We dreamt about having a pool with a reflection of the pitons, and we captured that by designing a 65 foot by 13 foot lap pool. Some of the challenges in building a unique villa include the imports of foreign product, like steel that came from China. Custom charges were double we had expected. It took nine months to install the local stone, which was a huge achievement by the local workers and carvers, since each stone was selected and cut to match the other one. Finding a local contractor was very difficult, as it was too complicated for anyone to accept the job. Through all of the challenges and the look of the villa, it is exactly as we imagined. One of the local guys also took me through the woods to his cache of bedposts, many of which he collected from recent settlers on the island and from older settlers. Our bedposts date back to the 1860s St. Lucia. Several talented men in our group also created the ironwork including a decorative fence that he, he ran around the entire property with uh, little fish and boats and you name it, he created it. Our staff is very giving and I always leave feeling that I've been treated at the highest level. It's not easy to put together a staff that works that well. It took us at least five years to get this group together that really care about each other and, and take care. I mean, they love to make people happy. I mean, this is, this is the St. Lucian way anyway. 
when you are around them. The best of Cai Blanc Villa is that every villa has its own separate patio for privacy, but one can also enjoy the treetop pavilion and share the time conversing, laughing, and eating with company. It's hard to believe that this has been a 30-year adventure experience for us and our families. The urge was always there to build something amazing. You know, that was the dream, and we did. It wasn't easy, but we got through it, and uh, it's an incredible place. We would love to welcome you to Cai Blanc Villa in St. Lucia. So here's to you.